Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. Time to get down to the nitty gritty. Two days from now, lives will change. This is always a big night for Kentucky basketball. Coach Cal is always there for it. We're talking about the NBA draft. Right. Two guys for sure are going to be lottery picks that we think. Shea Gilgis-Alexander and Kevin yeah. Knox. Shea might even be thought of now as the best point guard in the draft. Where do, you, do, you, do you agree with that? Why wouldn't he be? I mean, he is a tremendous player. He has proven, particularly over the last half of the season, that he is as good or better than any point guard. And I think the thing that has happened now is he's gone in and worked out with some teams and uh, everybody now realizes, hey, this is not just a player. This is a special guy. So I, I've read the Cavaliers might be interested in right. taking him. Uh, he may want to go to Charlotte or the Clippers. Toronto may give up anybody they have to give up to get him. He has really helped himself. Yes, he has. And, and, and I think he will end up in Charlotte. I mean, I think he'll be about the 11th pick. But don't be surprised if Toronto does some behind-the-scenes dealings to move up to get him. Remember, he's from Toronto. Yeah, that's So be they cool. would love to have him back home. So I wouldn't be surprised if ultimately he ends up there. Kevin Knox was the youngest player in college basketball last year. So we know he's got a ton of upside and a ton of growing that he can still do. Mm -hmm. But I think he's impressed teams as with what he can do immediately too. Yeah, and I think the thing that really has surprised teams is he kind of had that reputation of being one of those guys that stay out on the fringe, didn't mm -hmm. like to mix it up and was comfortable doing that. I think when he's gone into workouts, what I'm hearing is he's been able to mix with some bigger guys. He hasn't shied away from contact and that puts a whole new light on his game. Yeah, and I've seen comparisons now to Jason Tatum, who if you watch the postseason, the, the Celtics at all, I mean, it's exploded. I yeah. mean, he's one of the top rookies last year, so that's a pretty good comparison. Well, anytime at his size uh, and you can shoot the basketball the way he shoots it from the perimeter, that's NBA classic basketball. Yeah. They like those 6'9 guys, 6'8, 6'9, 6'10 guys who can really shoot the basketball, can stretch the defense, and can give teams other options. He's also a tough matchup when he's playing on the perimeter at that size. So we've got three guys. This is kind of rare. Three guys who are not guaranteed first rounders, not even guaranteed to get drafted if you're maybe right. talking about Wenyan Gabriel. Jared Vanderbilt's heart hasn't mm -hmm. been able to work mm -hmm. out for anybody. And Hamadou Diallo, a projected maybe mid second round pick. Do you think that, and each situation is different, do you think they made the right decisions? Um, it's hard for me to say, yeah. uh, and we'll have to wait and see where they end up. I'm one of those guys, if you have time left and you're not guaranteed to go in the first round, then you need to stay in school because the second round is, is, is such a lottery pick, really, yeah. a, a lottery. I mean, um, and my thing about the second round is if I'm not going to get drafted until late in the second round, I'd just soon not get drafted. I'd like to go out and work out with teams myself. Yeah. I get to choose. I can see what's on the roster. And now I make a better decision. So I'd, I'd like to see neither one of them get drafted if they're in that last half of the second round. I feel like for Jared Vanderbilt, he just didn't want to get hurt again. And he knew if he got yeah, hurt again yeah. that he may never get a shot in the NBA. And I understand that thinking. I mean, I think back to Nerlens Noel. Now, mm -hmm. Noel's obviously a much better player and had proven himself. But I think about Noel when he went down, I think it was in Tennessee, and he tore mm -hmm. his knee up. I mean, I just uh, saw little birds of money, you know, dollar yes. signs just floating flying out of away. his brain, just flying away from him because you just never know with an injury. So I understand uh, what Vanderbilt did. I would like to have seen him play more, but this might be his opportunity to do that. Thursday night, it'll all be settled. We'll find out where everybody's yeah, going. That's right. And then um, those guys may have a chance to go from team to team and work out. Yeah. When you it'll especially. be fine, yeah.